Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm being overrun by swarms of aliens. Operation Nightwalk is going to be just like that. Uh, we're being overrun by aliens and luckily our prime team is available so I figured we might as well want to give it a realistic chance to hopefully win this mission. So at least that is going to go for us. I've uh, taken the uh, skull check with me uh, which may allow us to further reduce the avatar project so that's a good step in the right direction but one hell weave vest on hard bite here got our frost grenade uh, just in case the viper king shows up by the way the do doubling of the grenade slot only works for non-special grenades so <clears throat> unfortunately the frost grenade can never be doubled they have taken that out of the class. I realized that a bit too late. Um, yeah, and other than that, I'm very much looking forward uh, to get the training center because there are a couple of interesting class abilities for the prime team that I would like to get. And who knows, maybe we can even make uh, the other characters a bit stronger. Okay, we just started it's one of those situations where we got a couple of uh, support staff so i'm not sure if i like it or if it's going to make it more difficult but we are starting without concealment which means per definition we're either going to trigger right away or we can uh, move up just a tiny bit blue moves definitely for everyone Yet again, uh, put our Marine onto an actual assault rifle because they are better than the cannons at the moment. Taurus moves up and wrong planet could take high ground. I think this here up here is considered high ground. Uh, do we have the auto bracing? Quick hands, weapon specialist. Uh, this here maybe? Brace? No. Well, then we're bracing manually. Oh, yeah, and of course, the chosen will show up. At least that means the Viper King is not going to show up. Can summon robotic allies, okay. Decreases will of soldiers, gains health. Uh, it's good to be hit from high ground and hates Templars. Well, we got Templars with us, so that's a good one. And Hogbite does have Bladestorm now. Oh, okay, we're fighting against Archons. Sure, bro, sure. Yeah. I think I already expressed how much I hate Archons for their ability to just dodge everything. But my distinct hate for Archons doesn't just stop there. It's actually quite deeply rooted. They are overall very strong, very tanky. Don't like to deal with them. But at least no chrysalids, so it could have been worse, I suppose. Oh yeah, and they do have dodge, of course. Oh, Berserk of fire starters, they are bad news, really bad news. Uh, vipers, they, these guys could actually kill them, some Vipers. Yeah, we're focusing on the Archon, not even a question. Yep, 90%, just failed, just like that. All 
right, keep it going. That's the third uh, dodge shot in a row. I mean, who counts, right? Finally, a nice big fat crit. Let's try to kill... Okay, very nice. I really, really thought we would be in range, but apparently we are not. Good, not the best turn. I actually thought we could reach the sectors and I wanted to hit them. Need a mind shield on Hogbite. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. It's getting a little ugly around here. There's nowhere to go. Ah, that's unfortunate. Bad start, but at least we got the Archon down, I suppose. Kill the Viper. Mm, very nice. I think what we're going to do is... I actually would want to speed up what we're doing a bit. Quite a kill, but we could get there. And as you can see, we're now running and gunning. That's untouchable for us right there. Okay, well, we're moving closer to the high ground. Moving up to high ground actually. And Zukuger moves up there. Adjusting aim. Yeah, not a great uh, chance to hit him. Nonetheless, this plus Blade Storm <coughs> will finish him. And we're building our focus with Hogbite. End of turn. Oh, keeps going for that Advent Guardian. I like it. There's a large group of civilians moving down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Go, go, go! Bomb Planet will take the high ground, for sure. In the meantime, we do have two people on high ground. 
and I would say we're pushing forward just as far as we can. Again, don't want to pull or trigger anything. This is a regrouping turn. Okay, that might have been part of the second pack. Okay, typically you do have two packs per position. And we already killed the first one, that was the Archon pack. These here are uh, the heralds of the second pack. I see you. Uh, sucks being in tracking shot with the one guy that wants to just stay where he's at. In the meantime, they are uh, the resistance forces are actually clearing this up very nicely. And by the way, I totally love the map design. This here is awesome. Little bunkers and sandbags everywhere. Really well, uh, well done. Super great tiles. Not only great tiles, super great. Trying to not explode the car. Maximize the damage down there. Oh, holy, that was a lot. Oh, we don't have Salvo. Yeah, well, it was still worth it. Taking the high ground with Taurus. Good, Hogbite moves all the way over there. Because apparently that's where we're fighting now. Got his blade storm ready. Good, wrong planet. Moves up. And could just hit that guy. Normal shot, that's okay. Let's go. Good, we saved three so far, and we have a uh, few leftovers. So we're not doing too bad for ourselves. Is what he said before the fire starter began to charge in. Got to command uh, respect to them as they have now taken out almost that entire pack here. Very nice focus fire and everything. Fast out, that is a problem. Oh, they definitely have taken out that entire pack. Nice. Okay, a couple of mutants on top. I see how it is. Allez, on se remue. 
haven't yet found the guy. <clears throat> and by that I mean the fire starter. Yeah, we need to move a little bit further to the front line. Ready to rock. Ready to Got go. our free reload. Uh, Autoloaders definitely are carrying the momentum. And I'm talking about momentum often, which is when you need to push forward, all of those little movements yeah. add up. Unconscious is not dead. Dead is dead. But conscious, theoretically, I think we can rescue. Ooh, there's another one. Together with mutants, oh, and a chrysalid, oh. these guys well we can hit two right and remove cover take these two out not a bad idea either okay let's see what what we can do here Newton is very well covered we're definitely bracing and kill let's start getting down the chrysalid that's one down continuing to get it down Lots of grazing. Yeah, we're continuing with Zukuger and more hits. Triple hit. This will give us untouchable. Of course. This won't give us untouchable. That'll trigger the other berserker, but. have that many options all right parry here into frost grenade to deal with those suckers Going on to the very edge, um, 
and I won't take a, uh, um, a difficult shot if I can take an easy one. Nice hit. Good job. Dude, I'm standing in the open with Hawkbite. Why aren't you attacking? Stupid civilian slaughtering. Oh yeah, that's good. Focus fire is needed, guys. Well, that's the very opposite of focus fire. Okay, we're... Starting with a nice flanking shot. Uh, Lyrical could provide us with more power. That's a hit. Lyrical team works over. That's the kill. Very good. I'm just trying to deal maximum damage here. Um, moving a bit forward. Starting to shred. Of course, you're, here we go with a 96% shot miss. This guy reactivates. We should be good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. We need more enemies. One of these fetties is down. Not even sure if I'm allowed to say fatty on a YouTube video. Might get it demonetized, but I'm talking about um, aliens, so there is no body positivity. Good. If you guys would focus on one, I would really appreciate that. Cool. Reload into a nice little hit. Lovely. Uh, we could uh, very much. Trigger the hunter. I heard you had a little fun at one of the advent facilities. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. That's one of the chosen. Heads up. 
Another pack. That's not good. Unfortunately, we can't kill that Advent Guardian right away. Two hits, but that is not enough to kill him. Run and gun active, and let's get that guy down. Mainly also wanting untouchable here. <clears throat> but we're continuing to move up. Great cover, really. I think we're pushing in, rather. Good parry. is ready and absolutely pissed about the situation here. Yeah, I gotta get that guardian down. Good, good, very good. You have understood whom to focus on. I like it. Alright. They are doing a very, very good job this time. Almost got the guy down. If you could kill him, I would so really appreciate that. Which one of your troops should I retire first? You shouldn't retire any of our troops but I will retire yours. Mm. Okay, close one. still have a bit of cover if I was to go in it's a soldier and a soldier okay hmm but that's not a full-fledged uh, double or triple kill I will not use I will not use Reaper in that case I rather want to uh, I rather want to continue having um, the ability to parry. Absolutely. Moving into full cover. Nah, not yet, not yet, not yet.
can't really get into these uh, this is a nice interesting uh, kind of line of sight um, activity here Kill this guy. Could kill the Advent. I didn't want to do it, but I think it's the, it suits the situation. Because it's worthwhile killing uh, those guys. Bombs away. You because that will now also shred him. And we can reload into shot. Not a bad start either. Good damage. And that's actually a kill because we do have Blade Storm. But might take some damage here. Oh yeah, come on, move into Hogbite. Well, almost. Everybody's now focusing on the Mac. Uh, you really think you can hide from me? Yeah, I think we're just going to finish the Mac. Deep poop, my friend. Good, I'm offering a couple of targets here because we can't afford to lose more civilians. Um. Overwatch and we're moving in. 75% is good enough. portion of damage and we are parrying mm. look at that we finally for the first time brought a counter to them hogbite could solo him no problem Uh, 
Okay, well. Are you sure you want to this? Reloaded. Come on. Wrong planet. There you go. Can't believe it, we actually made it. Can't believe it, we actually made it. I wasn't giving us a high chance, but we won. And we even got some loot. And the other one was uh, way out of our reach, but... Yeah, that was good. Five extra AP on top of it. End of turn, and we're good. It was even a flawless mission. I think the second one in that entire run. We have been beaten up, badly beaten up the entire time. And I think I should uh, research the mine shield. Hogbite definitely could use it. He's starting to become, as always, an integral part of trying to carry that corpse of a run a bit further. Mobility. That's good. Expanded magazine. Superior expanded magazine. Oh my lord, that is good. Oh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. Good. The superior expanded magazine could help us um, with our auto cannons because they are a bit difficult. Uh, they are running too uh, qu uh, too quickly out of ammunition. Um, and we got. Wait, wait, wait. We got. Um, another facility time. lead. And yet somehow I didn't see this coming. I think we need to go for the facility lead. It's just the, we don't have uh, the error margin of errors that I would like to have. Took some hits during the most recent covert action. But word from the medical team is they'll all be Cool. So we could hunt further. That would give us additional insight. Region income increase. Scientist would be okay, I suppose. Um, superior PCS would be a nice. Most of this is so shit. Um, <laughs> I, w I wanted to get something good. I mean, this breakthrough is sort of okay, I guess, but we're not necessarily hemorrhaging cash at the moment. So I have to wonder. Shall we just go with that? I mean, do we have high enough soldiers that we could spare for it? Prime team would be out of commission for some time. Got a decent field medic here, so I think Taurus could be the one doing that. And if Taurus doesn't go on to a mission... His buddy Zoo Cougar doesn't go on to a mission either. And then we put Diddy G onto a couple more missions. Uh, there is a decent chance for an ambush. But I could deal with the ambush even without all of those shenanigans. I just need one healing kit and I think we should be fine. Okay, well, good enough. 
let's confirm that and we're trying to make progress so that we can actually get more resistance orders going for us want to continue facility leads so tactical withdrawal isn't bad 10 dodge 6 mobility for one turn can activate that and got some more tactical withdrawal we're out of uh, hive drones battlefield medicine would be great as well plasma grenade and battlefield medicine are really good uh, upgrades for us at this point another important step forward in our research and we got the hive gauntlet Oh, that was the one that pulls you, uh, pulls uh, someone closer to you. Not bad, I would say. Also not fantastic, fantastic. Might as well go for no, sectors now for the mine shields. And finally 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 we're ready for that upgrade the bonds and let's take a good look uh, so hmm. press of strength uh, two hit points and faster further throw um, Throwing a grenade or using an item no longer ends your turn. That's not bad either. At the end of each turn, gain plus one dodge per tile moved up to plus ten. That's all fine and good, but I think zone defense is really good. We could also... We could also try to go... Um, for uh, that once per turn get a non-movement action point refunded after killing an enemy with a turn ending melee attack okay so basically where you stand you can um, attack or kill again get a partial movement point refunded after um, after hitting Okay, so this is the full melee route, I understand. And they make the cost of these a little bit more uh, pricey. We have nothing against, um, against Overwatch so far. So I think lightning reflexes actually might be in a funny way a bit better than zone defense because we don't have options to counter that yet. Yes, we do have suppression and so on, but you don't always have um, angles uh, to do that. Yeah, other than that, I think zone uh, defense is great. But we'll go with that for now. Low profile, a fantastic ability, full cover always is really good. Once per turn, whilst braced, get one action refund for killing enemy at lower elevation. That is good because we can immediately shoot again. So I think I will actually go for that. I don't like the scout uh, route. I do understand you can play it with a vector rifle and then this class essentially is a scout and maybe I'll uh, do one of these kind of scout spotter build free battle scanner isn't bad either and defensive mine was fine so far but doesn't really fit the bill of a sniper right so I think we're going with Raptor's Perch because Death from Above is strong and we are lacking damage and I am 
desperately trying to get more damage. So I need to work through uh, through our action economy. Lightning hands for Hawkbite would be good, but he is already supremely strong. And Haywired, uh, I like low profile. That's a good one. Certified uh, medical technician. You, we could go with that. Return fire isn't bad. Sprint is okay. I actually liked uh, um, electronic warfare quite a bit. That one was good. EMP protocol now removes any active shields on the target. This here could be good against sector pods if they show up. It could actually work relatively well against them. And that would be awesome. That's actually really strong. You know, there are a couple of good abilities, but I think EMP Shockwave is is extraordinarily good against stronger mechs. We're not running uh, mechs ourselves, so elsewise this here would be great. This here would also be good. Keep in mind, I mean, plus 10 hacking skill isn't uh, to be scuffed at. That's half a uh, half an enemy protocol. Plus failsafe is always free at the beginning. And if you shut them down, I think I'll actually go for electronic warfare. Heat grenades would be great for Namri. Standard explosive grenades, pierce one armor and shred one additional point of armor. That's actually really good because we're oftentimes using her for that. Extra explosion radius isn't bad either. And blast padding isn't bad either. Um, I mean, extra hit points are good. Immunity to panic, stun, and. Mm. Mm. Wow, so many good abilities. This is actually also worth quite a bit. I'll be careful not to overinvest. Let's just see. Noxus here definitely has 30, so he could get one for free. Gain a dedicated ammo inventory slot. That is great for 15. Super good. Uh, two hit points isn't bad either. Like, both of that is great. I tell you what, I mean, I like what I'm seeing here, uh, Noxus. This here is, this is fantastic. And he gets a lot of AP on top of it. Okay, I think the others just don't have the necessary ability points at this point. Or are currently not uh, here. Yeah, covered a uh, covert action allows them to not train during the covert actions. But we got a couple of upgrades, um, and I must say, specifically the passive ones are going to help us. Mind shield is going to help us as well. This is going to be this is bullshit. We don't need that. Well, 
We are good on Inter. Let's go with Archon. And we got our first assault infantry. We needed. Um, we needed another marine. So let's start with that. And finally, we're getting higher level soldiers just by training them. I do have the feeling that we will need them. Promote the soldier. Uh, tell you what. Um, let's do a melee build uh, with him. We're actually going down that melee route. And now we're going to see how well this is going to work. I mean, got extra damage and uh, gained some mobility back. Yes, some of the other things are not going uh, to work just as well, but I think we're okay. Two mobility, 20 dodge. Uh, yeah, we're going to take that, thank you. And whilst we're at it, we're going to take that as well. She already has speed and she needs speed. More hit points, helpful. And a little bit more speed. So the Prime team has some sort of PCSs going for them. Inter suggests high concentration of robotic units. Protect the device, yeah, no. Got another engineer here. I think we are actually going for the engineer. That looks like a reasonable, um, like a reasonable next step. Um, yeah. And the senders goes into um, Medicare. And I think we're okay for now. Things are looking up a little bit, but we still haven't gotten any of the breakthroughs that we need. Commercial weapon, um, conventional weapon breakthrough, um, or the individual weapon breakthrough. So this is this is a problem. Okay, and that sort of brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, I thank you for watching, and um, if you want to tango with the like button, feel free to offer it a dance and see if it um, refuses or accepts. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.